We got them. We got them. They subscribed. Suckers. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the CIA have quite the history of hiring magicians. You see, during the Cold War, they hired a magician by the name of John Mulholland, which was a very famous American stage magician, but they hired him not for his magic, but for his practices in deception. In fact, he was paid by the CIA to write a manual on deception, and they were later on published as the official CIA manual of trickery and deception. So we're visiting the CIA website to finally figure out if I've got what it takes to become an official member of the CIA. By the way, if you think that I do have what it takes, please let me know, like this video, subscribe. <laughs> What's that? They're not subscribing? It didn't work? I'm fired. I'm fired. All right. So if you peruse the CIA website, you will find that they are offering positions. They are hiring constantly. So if we go under hiring process, It'll show you uh, the minimum requirements to be hired by the CIA physically in the United States. All right. A legal U.S. citizen. Okay, so maybe I won't be officially part of it. <laughs> At least 18 years of age. Got it. Willing to move to Washington, D.C. Why not? Able to successfully complete security medical evaluations, including a background investigation, a polygraph interview, and a physical and psychological examination. Well... Now we're talking. Since I've sent my application to the CIA, formally they have not responded to me quite yet. So in the interim, I decided to take the other CIA test that is available to us on the internet, which is the Spy Kids official CIA test. So if you go to cia.gov slash spy dash kids, uh, you, will, you will be left with a bunch of games. So here we are. Let's see the different categories of tests that we can play today. We have uh, summer games. I mean, did I say play? I mean, the test that we can take, the official CIA test that we can take. We have the summer games, break the code, crossword, puzzles, coloring book, aerial analysis, photo analysis, and last but not least, memory. All right, let's do puzzles, interactive puzzles. Really? All right, this, this, might, not be, uh, this might not be the best way to test uh, one's knowledge. Congratulations, you solved in 22 seconds. <laughs> All right, we're not, we're not gonna do these puzzles anymore. Those are a little, little too simple for our big brains here. <laughs> Let's start with uh, aerial analysis. I feel like this is good. Well, we got two minutes and we have to figure out what's going on here. So what time of day is it? 11 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m. It definitely looks like the sun is setting. I'm gonna go with 6 p.m. That is right, there are long shadows and the golden sunlight cast by the sun. Yes. What day is it today? Holiday, game day, work day. There's traffic. Must be a work day. Correct, again. What season is it? Definitely summer. The grass is green. The grass and trees are green. It is summer. What can be expected tomorrow? Rain, celebration, eclipse, or danger. Now, there are some rain clouds. I'm not sure if those are rain clouds. I don't know how you would tell if there's an eclipse. Um, danger, I can't tell, but I can tell that there is a little park over here. So that looks to be like a celebration, and that is correct. What type of business or industry drives the economy? I'm gonna go with industrial because of the giant smoke. Um, where are we? We're definitely near coast. And we accurately assess the situation. <laughs> challenge number two. Aerial analysis challenge. What time is it? Looks like the morning, that is correct. What day is it? It is... Okay, it's not a weekday. It might be a holiday because no one's on the ski hills and there's snow on the cars. I'm gonna go holiday. Ooh, is it a weekday? It was a weekday. Because the school bots are taking the children to school. I didn't know that was a school. Okay, whatever. Let's move on. What season is it? When did it snow? A month ago, a week ago, yesterday. All three of these answers could be correct, by the way. So, CIA, get your stuff in order. Yes, because there's snow on the cars. Where are we? Uh, I believe near mountains. That is correct as well. All right, this is all way too easy. What type of business drives the economy? I'm gonna say tourism, that is correct. Congratulations, you accurately 
assess the situation. All right, well, you know what? If we're a counterterrorism force right now and there's somebody trying to hijack the ski hill, we would have uh, assessed that situation pretty prematurely. Back to games. Let's see here. Okay, photo analysis. This is cool. Let's start. This is, oh, this is a find the difference. Let's see if you at home could also do the same. All right. This guy right here. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, this car. There's a dude missing here. Uh, this is different here. Right here. This. This person here. Uh, this. It's gotta be something here. Oh, the tree. Done. With two minutes left. Let's go to the next one. That was too easy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start here. That's missing. We got this container here. We got a plane in the sky. We got this, hello. Um, the car back here is missing as well. This is red, not green. Uh, something about the park bench is off. Here, this lady, totally cool. There's a guy here. What about this? Three, 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 two, three, 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 three. I'm looking at the the amount of spaces in the windows. Everything seems fine here. These cars seem in order. Oh, there's a car missing here. Clearly, we haven't found everything. Oh, pallets here. Okay, this one is a little bit trickier. <laughs> I can't fail this. Like so much riding on this right now. I can't fail this. We have 30 seconds. I'm sure there's one thing left. Do you guys see it? 10 seconds. Come on. Find it. <sighs> All right, let's go advanced. We'll try one more. I'm pretty sure the advanced version uh, we're gonna do really well at. We're gonna excel at. Okay, this guy's wearing suspenders. That person isn't even there. This has an R, not a P. These are flowers. Uh, those flowers are a different color. The gate over here, the car back here is blue. The banner here is missing. This thing here is yellow. It's really a matter of like jumping back and forth to the two things quickly and then seeing if there's like a difference there. Oh, here. Okay. I thought that was it. I thought we found them all. All right, we got a minute and a half. Come on. This one is tough. This one's tough. It's gonna get me. This one's gonna get me, I think. I looked at everything. Yeah. Use all my brain power. All right, well, I didn't find it. Let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna go back. Uh, you guys let me know when you find it. Leave a comment below. I'm gonna go and read those. Let's try a different game. All right, let's do a crossword here. A simple crossword. Two across the science of decrypting secret messages. Decoding? No. Oh, cryptology. Cryptology. What's one down? Information gathered and activities conducted to protect against the efforts of foreign intelligence agencies. Counterintelligence. That works. Nice, nice, nice. A clandestine source. Number three, a clandestine source. Could that be an agent? Eight, a blank agent is a spy who is living as an ordinary citizen in a foreign country that acts only if or when directed by their home agency. Okay, that works. Yes. I've watched Born Identity. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. False information spread deliberately, misinformation. Boom. A citizen of a foreign country who is spying on behalf of the United States government. Oh, that's an agent. That could be agent. E-N-T, wait, then what is that one? A clandestine source. 
Could that be asset? Okay. Proof that something is real or genuine, such as an intelligent officer or assets claimed identity. It is proof that something is real. Evidence. Third letter's an N. We'll circle back. Number nine, employee of the CIA is a CIA. And there's an R at the end. A CIA. I should know this. If I'm going to be in the CIA, I should know this. Oh, and what's five down? A false name used to hide one's real identity. A cover? Let's check. Oh, first of all, cover's wrong. So sleeper is probably right. Yep. Oh, and this is disinformation, not misinformation. Hey, everything else is right so far. That's great, except for cover. Number seven, proof that something is real. Genuine proof. This is bona fide. All right, let's just go ahead and solve. It is bona fides, but with an S. Ah! Number four, trade craft. This is for children. Number nine is an officer, a CIA officer. That's correct. And number five over here was an alias. Yes, I should have known that one. That one I should have known. Trade craft, take a hike. But that one I should have known. All right, last one here. Let's just try a quick little memory test to see if my memory is in tune with the central intelligence. All right, we've got Boris and Harrington, Elgin and Osman, Elgin, Elgin, Larry, Bradley. It's getting confusing. Harrington, Harrington. Damn it! I'm I'm terrible at this. Harrington, Harrington, Boris and Boris. Larry and Larry, Osman and Bradley. All right, now, I mean, that's what we're gonna. Osman, Osman, Bradley, Bradley, you can play the game. Congratulations. Director's photo gallery. You have 15 seconds to preview the correct order below, then two minutes to drag the images into correct order. Ooh, okay, this actually might be a genuine test here. 15 seconds, that's not a lot of time. All right, let's go. Let's see if I can just lock it in. Okay, I mean, let's try. This guy there, there was no glasses on the second row. This guy was here. There was only one pair of glasses on the top. So all the glasses were on the bottom row. She was down here. This guy was the last guy. I remember him. This guy was up here. This guy was over here. This guy might've been here. No, last row. There was no glasses on that row. So this has to be down here. This has to be over here. This guy was over here. Wait, this guy I didn't see. It's something like this. It's something here. Something. <laughs> ah! We were so close. I'm trying it again. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. There was no glasses on the last row. Now it's easy. Now I can, now I can for sure do this. This here, this here, that there. This goes here. Yes. All right, not bad, not bad. I wonder how many of you could get that. I'll leave the link below to this uh, whole CIA stuff and you guys can do the tests for yourselves. But if you did enjoy this, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe. This isn't your usual content, but we're trying some new fun stuff here and hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. I don't think I'll be joining the CIA anytime soon, but if I did, I wouldn't tell you. All right, CIA, you see that? See what I did there? I can keep a secret. Hire me. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.